The Tacoma Elder Care Channel is brought to you by Bob Michaels, estate planning and elder law attorney with Smith Alling PS. Today's guests are Don Hansen and Peter Adams with Cascade Park Communities. Good afternoon and welcome to Tacoma's Elder Care Channel. My name is Bob Michaels and I'm pleased to be your host and thank you for joining us. Today we're very pleased to have with us Don Hansen and Peter Adams from Cascade Park Communities, which is right. The emphasis on communities because there are three of them. There's Cascade Park Vista, is that correct? That's Cascade correct. Park Active Day. That's correct. Uh, and both of those units are up on St. Helens here at Tacoma, as I understand. And then we have Cascade Park Gardens. And so um, why don't I throw it to you first, Don, just to introduce yourself a little bit. Tell no, us how thank you. you. Yeah, we've been in business for 20 years now, and our, our the, re the reason we're in business is because we wanted to uh, meet uh, a, a need that was we, that we saw was not being met in the community. Uh, probably 95% of our residents are on Medicaid, and we are the one facility in Pierce County that uh, has that high of a ratio of uh, Medicaid residents. We are, we have a great family. We have our culture is is um, surrounded by this great family. And our staff, many of our staff members have been with us for the full 20 years that we've been in business. And uh, it's been, my certainly my goal is that we continue this uh, this outpouring of the community service. It's uh, very needed. And uh, there's, in fact, uh, we can't support all of the need there is in the community. I wish we could. So this is a second career for you, is that right? Uh, that is correct. And the first career was with the... Well, actually, I, would, um, I am a structural engineer from my previous life, and we've done many buildings here in Tacoma, including uh, the firm that I started that did the structural work on the Tacoma Dome. And we've done work uh, on much of the waterway right here, uh, the uh, History Museum and the Union Station, and also the uh, Chihuly Bridge of Glass. So we have a, a vested interest in uh, the community but I saw uh, 20 years ago an opportunity to provide a service that I saw was not currently being met in our community. And we are very successful in doing that, and that's our goal is to con continue doing that. That's impressive. Most people would, you know, after the distinguished first career, uh, go find a beach in Hawaii somewhere, and you've taken on a very challenging second career. Well, actually, it's so much fun to see the, our staff and interface with our residents because, as I said, uh, we have a great family and uh, we approach it that way. And if, if our residents aren't having fun, well, then we're not doing our job right. In fact, if our residents are not smiling, we're not doing our job. And you brought along Peter Adams today. So, Peter, why don't you introduce yourself and Thank you, open the camera and tell everybody... Uh, what you do for uh, Cascade Park? Mm -hmm. Most certainly. My name is Peter. I've been with Cascade Park now for over 16 years. I serve as the Director of Community Relations and Admissions. Uh, more of what I do, though, is help families navigate the process in finding resources for their loved ones, whether it be residential in either the Vista or the Gardens, or perhaps for adult day health for families that perhaps have a loved one that wants to stay at home, wants to remain as independent as possible, but they're needing some uh, some stopgap measures to help keep them independent and come to our adult day health program. Uh, folks call us all the time, seven days a week. The phone literally, uh, sometimes I think it's ringing off the hook. And uh, it's just families that are at wit's end and uh, they're looking for assistance. Some of them have got uh, limited resources. Uh, some of them need the help of an elder law attorney as well. And we're, we're more than happy to refer those folks to uh, wonderful firms like yours, Bob, uh, because I, it can be so complicated and, and, and even beyond what, what I can cover and help families with. But for the basics, helping someone to perhaps be introduced to the Medicaid system, um, some of them might, that might, might need to get in to see a doctor, uh, some of them that are just looking to know what's the difference between a nursing home and an assisted living, what's the difference between Medicare and Medicaid. For most folks, unless you really have to deal with it, it's not something that you're going to just be able to spit out at a moment's notice. And usually when they make contact with you, I imagine they're in what, what we lawyers call crisis mode. Mm -hmm. it's, it's wonderful when people come and pre-plan and we have uh, 
the contingencies A, B, and C all laid out ahead of time, but that usually isn't how it works. And so, well, let's define pain for long-term care. We've talked about, we've thrown terms out called Medicare, which is, you know, of course, health care insurance for age 65 or above or disabled, and this concept of Medicaid, and then there's a, a sidekick of Medicaid called COPES, which is basically Medicaid, but for less than skilled nursing care. So, you know, I'll throw out some legal type of things quickly, and then Peter and Don, you guys jump in on the practical side, because you're on sure. the firing lines of this. Well, uh, Medicaid, of course, has three eligibility requirements. Medicaid is about a 60% federal, 40% state of Washington long-term care benefit, usually for those with lower resources. An applicant must be medically needy and must have income uh, that is less than the cost of the care they're seeking. Those are the two of the three requirements that are usually pretty easy to meet. It's that third uh, leg of the stool that gets to be a challenge, and that is what we call the resource limit. Uh, the person applying has to have less than $2,000 in countable assets, meaning those assets that count towards that $2,000. Of course, a house uh, and a car and prepared prepaid burial and funeral and household goods and effects, those sorts of things don't count, but uh, we want to make sure those are structured correctly. But Medicaid and Medicare, Medicare sometimes will cover some care up to 20 days usually to 100 in extreme circumstances with some co-pays, but basically we're talking about Medicaid and it's come under assault really since 2005 in the Deficit Reduction Act. And what I mean by that is uh, both the federal level has made the uh, resource limits more restrictive, it's harder to qualify, uh, and coupled with both the federal government and the state government uh, pinching their pennies into quarters has, has made it challenging. In fact, Don, as we've talked about before, you guys haven't had a raise in a while. That's right, it's been eight years, years since we've had, it. actually we've had a half percent raise in the last eight years. Um, so yeah. it's very difficult. But uh, we are surviving, and uh, we intend to keep continue doing that uh, because we have such a great staff that's willing to work with us. Thank you, Don Hanson and Peter Adams of Cascade Park Communities. The one thing I really enjoy about working with both Don and Peter is that, as we all know, it's getting more and more difficult to find placement for those that have already used up their resources. And if you've used up all your resources, you're looking for what we call a place to stay that will take what's called Medicaid or COPS. Uh, very difficult to find right out of the gate someone who will take that. So the Cascade Park community, Cascade Park Vista, those places usually have Medicaid and COPS beds available. Uh, so if you're in a situation where a you or a loved one or you're looking to place someone who has used up their resources and is looking towards the Medicaid or COPES programs to pay. Indeed, call Don or Peter Adams over at Cascade Park Communities. Again, thank you, Don and Peter. We certainly have enjoyed having you. We look forward to having you back again. For all of those who have watched, uh, be sure to tune in again to the Elder Care Channel Tacoma. Again, I'm Bob Michaels, and I'm proud to be your host. We'll see you next time.